Hey everybody, welcome to our next video. Today we're going to be talking about five pieces of ultralight gear that you can get for under five dollars. The first piece of gear we're going to talk about is the trash compactor liner. So the trash compactor liner weighs in at only about 49 grams and basically it's a pack liner. It's a really great waterproof piece of gear and you can use it as a rain jacket in a pinch. It's a great piece of gear to keep around and it's really one of the cheapest pieces of gear that you can get out there. Again, ultralight backpacking gear under five. The next piece of gear that I want to recommend is this guy right here. This is a dollar flashlight from Walmart and at only 27 grams, this is one of the easiest pieces of gear that you can find that's ultra light. Basically, it's a great little light to have as a backup or to do stuff around the camp. It's not going to be great for night hiking or spending a lot of time doing stuff at night, but for reading a book or spending some time in camp, this is a great little light to have. Dollar. Now a lot of folks will spend some money and get a long handled titanium spoon, but what if I told you that there was another option out there that was about a third of its expensive and a lot lighter. I want to present to you the long handled blizzard spoon. For about $3 you can get a blizzard at any Dairy Queen in the country and get a couple of long handled blizzard spoons. These weigh in at just 3 grams and they do exactly the same job. They're almost exactly the same length and they'll let you get down to the bottom of those freeze-dried food bags just as easy as a long-handled titanium spork. I know that single-use plastics get a lot of bad rap, but you can use one of these several times and you get a little bit of the extra use out of it. So, long-handled spoon, Dairy Queen. One of the biggest underestimated pieces of gear is your trowel or whatever you're using to dig a cat hole. Some people like to use a trekking pole, some people like to use a, a fancy spade, but for just 26 grams, you can get one of these bad boys. For a couple of bucks, you can pick up a sand stake at pretty much any outfitter, REI, or you can contact me and I'll get you in touch with somebody on Amazon. But these sand stakes are great. They'll double up as a, a spade and you can use it for one of your tent stakes. So really, it's only adding the net value of this stake minus whatever your tent stakes weigh. So for just a couple of bucks, you can get a sand stake that's gonna fulfill multiple purposes and it's gonna be cheaper than buying an expensive trowel and cheaper than probably buying some ultralight stakes. So it's a win-win-win. The last piece of gear that I want to talk about is the Smart Water Bottle. Now, the Smart Water Bottle has a bad rap, uh, mostly because, again, it's single-use plastic. But if you use the Smart Water Bottle in conjunction with your filter, then you're using it multiple times and you're really trying to eliminate that piece of garbage from the landfill. The nice thing about this type of Smart Water Bottle is it's got this athletic tip and you can use this to back flush your filters. So when you're going out and you're getting ready to buy a fancy filter set, don't go out and buy a super fancy filter that has a proprietary bottle. Go buy a Sawyer Squeeze or a Sawyer Mini. It'll thread right onto this kind of bottle and you can save some weight by not bringing a syringe along and using this to back flush your filters. So the Smart Water bottle for about $2 is going to weigh in at 33 grams and it's going to be one of the easiest pieces of gear to find in pretty much any store anywhere. Any convenience store will have this or a comparable slightly heavier plastic water bottle that's going to have an athletic tip on it. The Sawyer Squeeze, uh, again, will thread right onto this water bottle, which makes it a popular choice for ultralight backpackers. I hope that you've enjoyed five pieces of ultralight gear that you can find for under $5. If you have a suggestion for another piece of ultralight gear that you found on the cheap, drop it into the comments below. Like and subscribe so we can keep putting out some great content for y'all, so we can keep having a great time out there on the trail. Until next time, happy trails. We'll see you out there.